room. I wonder what player two's gonna pick. Password. Yeah, tell him six sent me. Okay, give it up for... Excuse you. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Suppose you're at the video store and you're having some gastrointestinal problems. Which of these embarrassing noises could you not pass off as an actual movie title? Zots, gas, poot, or... Player two, you're getting screwed. Screwed is from 1954 and stars Jack Lemon and Judy Holiday. So in the store, you could pfft away. <laughs> player one, player three, who's gonna grab? <laughs> player three, make it happen. Gas is a Roger Corman movie with Ben Vereen and Cindy Williams. So you could proudly ask the clerk, do you have gas? <laughs> player. I've looked and I've looked, but I can't find any movies with the title of Poot. <laughs> Which is too bad, because that eliminates the sequels Poot 2 and Poot 3, the final Poot. <laughs> Let's have a category, player one. Say hello to... No animals were harmed in the making of this question. This one's worth a grand. Fire up those frontal lobes. Here's the question. Miss Piggy from The Muppet Show and the pig from the movie Babe have each of these in common, except both have fake... <laughs> up to you, player three. In the film, Babe does not have a froggy friend. But he does talk to a duck who breaks into the farmhouse, which was very unrealistic. I mean, ducks are strictly car thieves. Player three, give me some category. Sweet pick. All right, players one and two, get out of the way, because this one's just for player three. Get ready for a diss or death. This Dis or Dat's category name is... Let's go on a Poseidon adventure! I'm gonna read off the names of seven actors who are in the Poseidon adventure, and for each one I want you to tell me, does his or her character live in the Poseidon adventure, or does the character die? If the character lives, press 1. If the character dies, hit 2. And to skip, press 4. Okay. okay, maestro, if you think you know the rules, I'll go ahead and put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Shelly Winters the swimmer, does she win? Ernest Borgnine the cop. Eric Shea the kid. Stella Stevens the whore. Jack Albertson the old guy. Red Buttons the other old guy. Last one, Gene Hackman the reverend. That's all of them. Three right, four wrong. Not great. The report card says room for improvement. And hey, no time like the present. Category time. Player two, it's your... They said it was indestructible. Then disaster struck. The category is Tender Crunchies. $3,000 for this one. Okay, film fans, imagine this. Robert Duvall is in the cereal aisle of his local supermarket. If Bob's a little out of touch, which cereal might he think was released in commemoration of his movie debut? Captain Crunch, Boo Berry, Lucky Charms, or Muselix? Player three, do Well, you're toast. <laughs> player one, player two, go get it! Player two, grab it! Robert Duvall made his film debut as Boo Radley in To Kill a Mockingbird. You know, I like the cereal, but I hate having to hide behind the door while I eat it. Your pick, player two, how about it? All right.
right, here's the deal. Peppers! $3,000 on the table for this one. Get your finger out of your ear and listen up. We're going. If Peter Piper picks a pack of Gregory Peck portrayed personalities to help pick the pickled peppers, which character will not pick any of Peter's peppers? Captain Layer 3. Gregory Peck's played a lot of famous guys, but he's never portrayed Satan on the big screen. He was Satan's earthly father in The Omen, which of course made it a bitch getting his kid into a good preschool. Okay, that's round one. Take a breath, cause it's time for round two. Can't get started without some screws. Okay, one screw for each of you. Every question in round two is worth twice. Okay, we're back on the line with Peter Marathas of Canton, Massachusetts. Are uh, you still with us, Pete? It's PETA. Uh, PETA? What, like that pocket bread? No, like a name. PETA. P-E-T-E-R. Oh, Peter. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You live near Boston. Yeah, Park the Car and Harvard Yard and all that crap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, PETA, hit us with your question. category is, you slay me. This one's going to be worth 5,000 bowls of Boston clam chowder. Put your finger on the button and let's go. If you switch places with the most famous character in the 1972 film Slaughterhouse Five, what kind of... Player three. So what's the answer, player two? They picked a time-jumping World War II soldier. That's right. You'd be trading places with the character of World War II soldier, Billy Pilgrim. The slaughterhouse is where the Germans kept their American prisoners in Dresden. Oh, Player 3, did you lose something? Well, it's being returned. Well, Peta, we may not have started off on the right foot with the whole name thing and everything, but, uh... You did a good job, you know? It's good to get a Slaughterhouse 5 question in the game, too. Thanks. I've always been a big fan of Kurt Vonnegut. Yeah, he, he was really good in that. Uh, so anyway, Peter, what, what keeps you busy in Canton? Uh, I'm an attorney. Hey, gotta go. All right, Peter Marathis, attorney from Canton, Massachusetts. Now let's get to the next category. 